Hello once more, fellow humans of this fine universe. Today, in our Wii History Lesson made by me, we are looking at this Cities Skylines 2 map, also made by me, about the fine old city of Kuvorden. Now I can already hear some of you shout, I've never bloody heard of Kuvorden! Well, let me just let you know that you have now, and the learning doesn't end there. Kuvorden is the oldest city in Drent, Netherlands. Due to its strategic position, Kuvorden has often been a target during times of war. The city was first attacked and then captured by the Spanish in AD 1591. However, it was soon recaptured just one year later by a combined army of Dutch and English soldiers. The Spanish quickly returned though, but this time the attack was unsuccessful. This time they put the city under siege. This siege lasted almost one year, but the city held out and remained in Dutch hands. The siege was eventually broken by a victorious Dutch army in May 1594, after this, Kuvorden was then reconstructed into an ideal starfort city design. The streets were laid out in a radial pattern within massive star-shaped thick city walls and surrounding moats. This is what you are looking at now. This is Kuvorden in the year 1650. But Kuvorden no longer looks like this. Starforts are no longer necessary. In the centuries since the starfort was built, it has become obsolete and its moats have been refilled with soil. The city of Kuvorden also indirectly gave its name to the city of Vancouver in Canada, which is named after the 18th century British explorer George Vancouver. The explorer's ancestors and family name originally came to England from Kuvorden, Vancouver in Dutch Low Saxon. This map was made so you can reimagine history. If Kuvorden was still a star fort, how would it look today? Just follow that link below and download the map to find out. Now, before we continue, I am reminded by the woman I am married to that it is your duty to like and subscribe. She also reminds me that for each one of you who doesn't subscribe, she will twist my nuts into a Dutch knot and throw me into the river. So please subscribe. It is literally the only thing that makes her happy. Now, dear humans, you might be wondering if this map has any other information. And you would be wondering wonderfully because it is full of wondrous information, such as the theme, which is European and the climate, which is 11 to 27 degrees Celsius. And then there's the latitude, which is Northern Hemisphere. What's the buildable area, I hear you ask? The answer is 84%. How about the outside connections? Got them all, bro, got them all. Road, rail, sea, air, power. Does it have natural resources? Yes. How did you know? Are you psychic? There's the lovely yellow wheat stuff, and there's 99.6 square kilometers of it. And then there's the lovely green tree things. There's 77.9 kilotons of those. And then there's 69.6 .6 kilotons of ore, if you like that kind of thing. And after that, there's also that delicious black gold, 99.3 kilotons of oil. Is that enough? Probably. How about the terrain? Well, this is the Netherlands, so of course it's flatter than a pancake, unless you count those giant city walls. And that's all, folks. As always, I hope you enjoyed the wee bit of learning, and I hope you enjoy building your city on this wee bit of history. Personally, I plan on filling my star fortress with car parks and coffee shops, letting everyone in for free, but charging maximum toll gate price to get out again. Because that's just how I roll. That's all, folks. I'm off ski. See you next time. Peace, love, and star forts. Cheerio.